Maybe I should talk to Sarah? Maybe Cassandra. Let's go talk to Cassandra. Is there a quest? Oh, that might be, um... That might be this thing. The requisitions. Maybe not? Bottle of smoke. Does he Nothing. have a quest for me? Unfortunate. Oh, my maker, you cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shiral. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut, although it is yet bewildering at the center. Okay. There are problems coming out of Halam Shiral. There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. Okay, cool. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. I negotiate a deal for weapon planes. Operation available. Yay! Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? Oh, that's right. The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've had enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Having fun? The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. <laughs> I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because yes. of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. Is that even possible? How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara the Third was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. Why am I not a candidate? <laughs> because I'm not a woman? If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because you're a man, first and foremost. If they name you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better. So refuse. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Mm. The Chantry has failed, Cassandra. Greatly disapproves. I wonder if the legions wow. of faithful throughout Thedas would agree with you. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. Your determination is admirable. Some men would call it an unattractive trait. I'm not those men. Aww. Aww. You're not the only candidate. What about Leliana? Leliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. 
Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. I really like that idea, because it's like, as, as a person who typically plays mage in Dragon Age, that would be rad. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. But, but what about me, Cassandra? What about me? I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Yes, yes. Care yes. Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. Okay. Uh, goodbye. That's enough for now. Another time, then. We gotta do her mission before we get really anything else from her. And that's fine. We'll, um, we'll get that done for sure. But we need to go in here and have it load in like it always does. Bink. Wardens harm their own. And a quest here? Mortal Inquisitor, a title hard to rhyme. A challenge for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Meridel, a humble bard. Okay. What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Are you a bard like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not blades. I hope my skills will help in some small way, if only I can give your deeds their due. Okay. Carry on then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor. But do you not have a quest for me? Who has the quest? Merida, yeah, it's her. There is an issue that you should address. I think it's worth your time, Inquisitor. Stop the rumors operation available. Alrighty. I could do that, I guess. But first, we must chat with Sarah. One for the Empress. For Gaspard. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corypheus. Right in the dangle bag. The <laughs> dangle bag. Uh... Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry. You're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one Empress's arse? Ugh, oh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. <laughs> I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Yeah. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That and Briala being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss up wasn't in the middle. <laughs> It's very true. We totally have earwigs where I live. They're so creepy. If, you, if you've never seen one, just go Google. Google it. Uh, the Empress is right. It's not simple. Uh. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance. Maybe remind them not to be idiots. Good advice. Good advice. Sarah, you have more for me? You have a problem. What? That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. 
I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corypheus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? I, I have to once again point out that I love the fact that she is so consistent on not pronouncing Corypheus right. It is so good. That That is the, the trait of a really good voice actor and really good writing. Um, should the Inquisitor do this? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. Uh, yes. Just you and me. You know, I would like that. Uh, don't get excited. You're not my thing. <laughs> Your thing is not my thing. Oh. You still coming or not? <laughs> If in case you couldn't tell, lead the way. What really? Really? <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. It's time to have some fun. <laughs> okay. Wait. That, whoa, that was weird. Right, General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldiers a laugh. What the desk? Oh yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much. But it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. <laughs> After one of the soldiers and boom. The general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Nice. See? Oh no. <laughs> no, this is gonna be mean. What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes! Uh. <laughs> well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, you yeah. know. Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. <laughs> oh, man. That one's... I want to hear about that one. That one's going to be funny. <laughs> Poor Josephine. Me. Oh, this is fun. What's that? A locked... No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messenger something gassy? No, bears don't part. But they flap and... Uh, uh, hmm. Who is up there? Uh, uh, run! Go! <laughs> <laughs> her laugh gets me every time. It's, it's well done. That was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Corypheus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Uh oh, Frig! <laughs> uh -oh. You did it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Start her again. See if she has anything else. Any more pranks to be done? There's you, yes. Uh, investigate. Okay, no, okay, she's good. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Right. Uh, hop out her window. Or not. I think I've done that before, too. <sighs> Let's see here. I got Bull to talk to. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. 
At least under the cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. <laughs> uh. Corypheus had agents sowing the scent and muddying the waters. That's just it. Orle is so vulnerable. If you killed everyone in the Triumvirate, the Kuhn would survive unchanged. Uh, I don't know. The Kuhn isn't perfect, but it doesn't care what any single person wants. Orle is full of people who care about nothing else. That's a good point, actually. Got anything else? How you doing? Investigate. Yeah, okay. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Right. Um, <laughs> she's always standing on that chair. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Okay, uh, we have Dorian and Liliana to talk to. I really do want to talk to Liliana. Oh, and Vivian. I really do want to talk to Liliana for a lot of reasons. Inquisitor? Inquisitor. Okay, whatever. I think, I think Liliana will have, oh, and Solus. Oh, there's so much going on. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. <laughs> you miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But from the fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option. What? Why would I disapprove of. Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry. I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Hmm. Your people have lost so much of their history and culture. It's not even think of yourself that way. I think of myself as me. That's all I've ever needed. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the elves of Orlais, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. She's done good work. Hopefully, with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify, or fail to identify, with her people, Briala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect. Especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. You're hiding something, Solus. I don't like it. <laughs> 